You know, folks, we've had a long run in American politics where the idea that the media was hopelessly liberal, broken so deeply in the progressive side that no sense or sensibility could sneak through, that every conservative idea was stamped out ruthlessly and instantaneously. Can I just point out that that's some ref-playing bullshit like I've never seen before? Because let's be real. Donald Trump has given three press conferences in this last week. Those three press conferences were a torrent, a veritable flood, a tidal wave, a monsoon of lies and bullshit. And yet the media treated them, by and large, as if these were perfectly ordinary political press conferences. They fact-checked some of the lies, but you couldn't fact-check them all, not even if you were an AI hooked up to the biggest supercomputers in the world. The, the, the lies came so fast and so dense that it was impossible to discern anything from any signal from that noise. But look, these folks in the, in the press treated Donald Trump each time as if he were a serious person, as if these were real interviews, as if the content of these supposed press conferences was newsworthy. Now, to their credit, um, during the last one, CNN did duck out because they finally, I think, had some shred of dignity and recognized it was just crap. But I got to tell you, folks, we've got to stop believing that, that that you have to both sides Donald Trump, that you have to tell both sides of a lie, that you have to treat every event that he does as something that is newsworthy in and of itself. You know, I've noticed they, they the, the press is getting their back up. They're, they're very angry with Vice President Harris now because they don't think she's done enough sit-down interviews with them. You know, they've allowed Trump to be the most transgressive and abusive player in American political history. And they're acting as if somehow Harris has violated this unwritten or written rule that she must bow down to them and must give them a long interview. Well, right now, folks, she's too busy winning. She's too busy being out there kicking the door down, kicking Donald Trump's ass. And you know what? I think she's right. She should hold off as long as she needs to before she does sit-down interviews. Their rules have been stacked for Donald Trump's favor for far too long, and she's not obligated to play that game. And until they decide they're going to treat this thing equally all the time, they're on the enemy's list.